another one of my interests is hi-fi equipment audio equipment in particular i really enjoy listening to music i have a what i would call a fairly well tuned ear i wouldn't call myself an audiophile per se but i can tell good quality from bad and as a result i have no less than four hi-fi systems around my house of course none of those are portable in any sense of the way on some of them the speakers are permanently mounted to the wall on others while they aren't you would probably need well more than one person to carry them around so i decided to get myself a bluetooth speaker because there are certain circumstances where i'm working somewhere in my house that i cannot listen to music properly also it's really useful to have a bluetooth speaker when you're out and about so i was browsing the web and i came across this it's the anchor sound core 3 I bought it from a place called Simply Tech in Timbigasai Road, Colombo 5, Sri Lanka. It cost me 15,000 rupees as you can probably see on the price tag here. It was on discount as per their website. And you can see it's really new. It's still in the polythene packaging because I've literally just brought it, come home and I'm shooting this video. So, I think the first thing to do is get rid of this polythene so we can have a look at the box a little better. This is what it looks like. Let's see some highlights. Powerful stereo sound, okay. Titanium driver and dual passive radiators. So that means there are two drivers and two radiators. A driver is basically a speaker. You've got a cone, you've got a voice coil, you've got a magnet, all those things. A passive radiator is a speaker without a voice coil and magnet. And how a passive radiator works is it is usually in the same enclosure as a speaker and it's just a freestanding cone if you will that vibrates like that as the actual speakers in the enclosure make sound it's a really common technique used in some subwoofers in fact some computer speakers the subwoofer might have a fairly large looking speaker if you will but if you actually open the box you will see that that large speaker is a passive radiator and behind it inside the box is a much smaller actual loudspeaker so yeah this thing says it has two passive radiators extended treble and bass up to 40 kilohertz i think that's a bit ridiculous because the human ear can only go up to 20 kilohertz so i guess this thing can go ultrasonic i don't know i don't know how to communicate with dogs or any other animal for that matter to find out if it can go ultrasonic or not so let's just take the 40 kilohertz thing with a pinch of salt bass up trademark technology okay that's probably some bass boosting thing 24 hour play time fully waterproof ipx7 certified customer customizable equalizer and i know about this before because i have a pair of soundco noise cancelling headphones which use the same soundco app that's on my phone so i'm happy about that because i can pair these speakers using that app and adjust their settings through the same app so that's nice link 100 plus speakers okay i don't think i want to buy 100 speakers and link them to test that out so that's one feature we are not going to see in this video what we are going to see in this video is an unboxing I'll play you some music through the speaker but it'll have to be very carefully selected music due to YouTube's aggressive content matching strategy and at the end I'll give you my conclusion on what I think of this. Right now usage cases for it for me include when I'm doing some work or chilling in the balcony, when I'm working on my model train layout or when I'm out and about on the road with the family. So there we are. Next up, the unboxing. Right, so let's get the Sound Core 3 out of its box. You can see some of the features that I mentioned: bass up, Bluetooth, IPX7, 24-hour playtime. On the back, this is the blurb that I was reading about in my intro. So let's get this thing open. Okay, let's just cut that there. Okay, I've got the tape cut. So the first thing we have on top is the speaker wrapped in this fairly nice and protective polythene which I'm going to get rid of immediately. So the top has got five controls on it. You can see the power button, Bluetooth button, plus and minus which are definitely for volume and the sound core symbol which I'm guessing does something probably play pause and sound core app syncing. On the back we see one of the ports for the passive radiator. On the front we can see the two active drivers on either side and the passive radiator in the middle there with the sound core logo the left hand side has what appears to be a strap attachment point the right hand side has the usb c charging port that's nice let's put this thing aside for now and see what else is in the box 
okay so now the next thing we've got here is a little sound core leaflet okay a quick start guide okay so yes primary speaker plus and hold the bluetooth button right okay i'm sure i can figure this out but as i've said before it's always a good idea to read the instruction manual for any electronic or electrical item that you buy i think i related this story some time ago my wife and i got a vacuum cleaner as one of our wedding anniversary presents we used the thing for two years without reading the manual and then we discovered that it had a speed control so yeah we both felt like fools but so that's a very good case for always read your manuals i will read this manual off camera because i don't want to bore you with it put that aside We've got some more leaflets here what is this oh dear i bumped the camera sorry about that that's in chinese so i'm not gonna bother reading that that is also in chinese not gonna bother reading that quality control passed okay we've got two quality control stickers here okay thank you very much i'm glad you know it's passed quality control then this is okay i'm guessing this is just like the, uh, the conformity and regulatory and compliance documentation finally at the bottom we've got the usb-c cable which yeah that feels to be a fairly quality item i've seen flimsy cables before this one seems like it'll last and i've got plenty of usb-c cables anyway so i'm not too fussed about that oh and we've got this strap here so you can see it's a pretty freestanding affair so i can tie it however i like anything else below this packaging let's see nope that's it so that concludes the unboxing part of this video review next up will be the performance test right so for this segment of the video i'm using my digital camera because i can't use the phone since i'm going to be pairing the phone with the speaker so to let to get started we have to switch on the bluetooth on the phone and open the bluetooth settings i hope you can see all that uh, then we power on the speaker that's the typical anchor bluetooth kind of you know jingle that when you start up one of their products you get available devices it's already come there sound code 3 pairing i can see the blue light is lighting it's asking do i want to pair with sound code 3 let's say pair that's the pairing sound i get the same sound with my earphones as well interesting to note that it has paired with the sbc sound codec i need to check and see later whether i can switch it to aac i don't know if this supports aac i don't see an option here to enable aac so now it has paired let's see let's go to youtube and let's try to listen to some music through it youtube premium no thanks okay now i'm gonna play some music by merun wahab who is my mother and the person who has composed the jingle for my channel as well so yeah i basically have enough permission to play that so no problem at all let's try this one Okay, so when I press that sound core button there, it pauses the music. Let's press it again. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite powerful and I'm really pleased with how the high and mid reproduction is given that this recording of the song was done itself with a phone, actually with the Nokia 6 with the Ozo microphone technology to record this song. So uh, it's not the most high quality, clean, studio, quiet recording kind of thing, but I feel it's being reproduced very well here. You can hear the bass is quite nice as well. I have not even touched the Soundcore app yet because I wanted to hear the speakers clean 
sound first and I must say I'm quite pleased with it. I did turn the volume up to maximum earlier and it got quite loud. I mean I need to check this out a bit more but for the first performance test I must say it's quite impressive for a small package like this. The specifications say that it can put out 16 watts of power. I need to read a bit more into that but it definitely has a fair bit of punch for a small to medium room. I shall be testing it out in larger rooms as well and I shall see how it turns out there. But first impressions, I'm quite impressed. Right, so I've been testing the speaker for a few days. You can tell by the fact that I'm in different clothes and I even got a haircut. So it's been about three days since I bought this speaker. I've tested it with a fair bit of music. I estimate I've listened to it cumulatively for about two hours. So that means I haven't had a chance to check out the 24 hour battery life. But to be honest, I don't think many of us would want to go that far with a speaker playing non-stop without charging it at least. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about the battery life at this stage, I might do a short about it later. What we can talk about is the sound quality. So I can't play you any of the tracks that I use to test it because of YouTube and the aggressive content matching copyright strategy that they employ. So I'm going to read to you from my notes which I took down while listening to selected songs. All the songs I played on this were from my phone via Bluetooth and played from Spotify. So that gives it some uh, uniformity. Let's have a look. Okay, so the first song I'd like to talk about is, uh, hmm, what shall we pick? Okay, let's go for a classic power ballad, Peebo Bryson and Robert Affleck, Tonight I Celebrate My Love. That is a very famous song. I'm sure many of you have heard it. You can hear it in your head right now, I'm sure. Now, the speaker was very good with the lows and the mids. They were well defined. But while Peebo's voice was quite nice, Roberta's voice was a little breathy and a little subdued, which tells me that this probably struggles with the mid highs and the highs a bit. So that was how we started the testing. We progressed on to Night Shift, a famous song, but the Bruce Springsteen version. In that, the mids were really good. Some of the bass line was very apparent. If you know the song, you'll know that it has a very strong bass line. And it was quite nice. Bruce's voice was also very well reciprocated. The husky and deepish nature of it came through really well. Overall, I was pleased with the performance of such a small speaker. Of course, there is a limitation as to how much bass you can get out of a package like this, even if it's got passive radiators on the front and back. So let's move on to something a bit more upbeat. Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. There, everything came through really well. and. For those who are so inclined, yes, you could use this speaker and dance along to some upbeat music in a smaller room. I, of course, didn't bother to do that. It's not really my thing, but you can do it with this speaker. Now let's go for something a bit more soulful and a bit more, you know, meaningful in the sense Mariah Carey's Against All Odds version of Phil Collins song. Now on that, the piano came through a bit weak, I felt, on the speaker, which means that once again, the mid highs seems to be an Achilles heel for this thing. I'm sure I can rectify it in the equalizer, but I didn't do anything to the equalizer settings. I wanted to hear the speaker as it would sound out of the box with no enhancements from the Soundco app. So yeah, the piano was slightly weak, but Mariah's voice was really good. Everything came through, even the subtle nuances, the way she varies the tone. I'm not sure what that's called in musical parlance, but all that came through really well on this speaker. Next up, one of my favorite groups the Bee Gees. I have used too much heaven for testing many of the audio equipment that I own so it was only natural to use it on this as well. The leading horn section came through very loud and clear. All the backings, the percussion, everything was good and of the voices at least two out of the three brothers were reproduced really well that would be Robin and Barry. Maurice's deeper voice was there but you had to listen for it a bit because once again highlighting that this speaker can't do that low you know in a convincing volume what you'll find with smaller speakers is that as the frequencies get lower the volume the output of those frequencies reduces which is why a small speaker can't do bass basically there just isn't enough cone to vibrate so to speak for those low frequencies overall yeah you could listen to the bgs on this speaker but if you're listening to songs where Maurice Gibbs' voice is fairly prevalent or even songs where he sings alone, it's not going to come out really well on this speaker. I think there's a rendition of 1st of May that he sings alone. I'm not 
really confident that that will come through well on this speaker so i'm not going to give it a listen let's move on next to shirley bassey shirley bassey is an amazing artist and she's probably the only artist who has sung not one not two but three james bond theme songs here i'm taking the second one she sang diamonds are forever her powerful voice really comes through this very well and overall it did a very good rendition of her song only thing is i felt at the higher volumes the sheer punch of her voice wasn't apparent of course you can't expect such a small device to convey a powerful voice like that effectively for that you need a proper large room setup like what i have in other parts of my house so let's move on to something a bit lighter soft rock if you will the eagles lying eyes now the lead guitar on this i found was slightly overpowering which leads me to believe that there are some peaks when it comes to certain mid and highs and i think i hit one of those peaks when i played this song because the lead guitar caught me a bit by surprise in fact and the vocals were slightly muted in comparison now that's not really what you want right so yeah i found one of the shortcomings of this speaker but other things the drums were really good and clear and there was some bass apparent as well not too much but just enough to listen to the song in a kind of acceptable fashion finally richard claydeman the world's most popular pianist and one of my favorites i took his rendition of ballad pour adeline where james last is playing the is rather conducting the orchestra that plays all the backing now on that the piano was very clear everything was tight it was a really nice pleasing sound and the orchestra shone through as well there was a bit of good bass as well some of the lower registers of the piano were coming through very nicely as well so i was pleased with how the speaker played that song so there you are that is the report of my testing if you want to listen to any of these songs i'll put a list of the songs in the description and you can find them all on spotify so that you can listen to them in the same quality that i did finally you may be wondering how does one open this speaker up because it's ipx7 certified so yeah there's got to be a way to open it up right well nothing on the back nothing on the bottom well there are some feet but they look to be permanently attached sides nothing except for the usb c port and the strap attachment top the buttons are molded into the top but when we look at the grill then we see in the light four holes here 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 and here so what i'm thinking is you have to remove the grill which is possibly glued on and then there will be four screws there to remove and then you can get this thing open i'm not going to do that because for one thing i don't want to break the warranty on this and on the other hand with many of these electronic devices when you have to remove a grill or do something like that it's basically a one way street you're very likely to bend something or break something and it's never going to be the same again so given that this speaker is barely a week old i'm not really interested in seeing its innards so there you are sound core 3 overall i'm very happy with it all my testing was done in a medium sized room with a high ceiling which is double height in some places it's a slanted ceiling to give you an idea of the testing space and it worked well in that environment i took it into a smaller room as well roughly an 8 by 8 that's in feet 8 by 8 foot room and it was more than enough for that room finally in all my testing i never exceeded half volume on this because i wanted to see how it would be without being cranked up to max it can get pretty loud on max but half volume served me pretty adequately for the small and the medium room in fact in the small room it got a bit loud at points so i had to turn it down a little bit every now and then so there you are if you've liked this video and found it useful don't forget to show me your appreciation by dropping a like and subscribe to my channel because i've got a lot more great stuff coming up and i'm trying to get to the 1000 subscribers benchmark on youtube so please your subscription means a lot to me and share it among your friends as well thanks for watching